Mr. Polis, do you have questions? I do, Mr. Chair. Thank you um, uh, for Mr. King as well. I, um, I know that uh, you have uh, not been a fan of uh, many of the, the comprehensive immigration reform bill that passed the Senate, and as you know, we have a bipartisan House version, H.R. 15. Uh, I know that you, and, and, um, you are not a fan of those reforms. I wanted to inquire as to whether you have, in fact, succeeded in your efforts uh, to kill immigration reform for this session, or you still think there is some life in comprehensive immigration reform? Well, I, I wish I knew the answer to that. I'd sleep a little better at night. And, um, sleep better now? If I, if I knew the answer, I would yeah. sleep better. I was sleeping a little better today than I was a month or two ago. Uh, but I do think we've got a long ways to go, including lame duck. And uh, my effort has been to preserve the rule of law and our national sovereignty. And so, uh, so far, so good, but we're in a precarious place. So you're, uh, it's a, a victory lap is premature? Hmm. I don't think you ever want to animate the people that you're competing against. And I'd like it if they were just as passive as possible because I'd like to get through this session and see what the voters have to say in November and then respond to their wishes. Well, well I, 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 w I will be happy to. I don't expect those who are uh, uh, aware of the moral imperative for immigration reform to ever be passive or to, to stand down. I think that certainly in my case, and I know in the case of many other advocates, our dedication to this cause will only redouble with the increasing human toll and the more families that are torn apart. I do have an additional question, but I'll yield to the gentleman from Thank Florida. Thank you so very much. Uh, Ms. King, you've been up here a lot, as has Ms. Lee, and my experience teaches me that when the members are drifting away, that we're in for a long night. And uh, when we're in for a long night, uh, that means that something else is going to happen. Would your prefer preference be that we make your amendment in order here in the light of day, or that it go uh, somewhere in the inner recesses of the majority in a back room and be done? I would be delighted if there would be a public vote on my amendment. Very delighted. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Reclaim. It's already been a long night here. Yeah, understood. The night I'm has. Glad I missed a portion of it, and I'm gonna miss the rest of it also. Mr. Chair, the night the night has just begun, uh, and I have an additional question. Uh, I want to first thank. Yeah. What's that? Nothing. Uh, yeah, I'd like to, of course, thank the gentlelady from Illinois and California. I do have another question for for Mr. King. It's regards to. Um, uh, obviously, some, some, it's regards to some comments that you have uh, made with regard to, I guess, various physical deformities of the calves of immigrants uh, in the past. Um, um, and I, I, uh, I'm aware that you were on, I believe, the show Cuomo show yesterday with Chris Cuomo and uh, stated with regard to your recent visit to the border that the categorization of, uh, of, of, of calves as large as uh, cantaloupes is quote unquote accurate from the show yesterday. So <laughs> I'd like to inquire as to what uh, calves you inspected on your recent trip and, and exactly what you saw. I would also point out I, I did have the opportunity two weeks ago to the border. I did not see any calves that were in any way unusual. Uh, I wanted to inquire can I, as to can I just interrupt investigation. Um, uh, Mr. Uh, yes. Sessions' concept is to let everyone ask whatever they wish to do. Sure. I would ask you, though, to address your remarks to the amendments at hand. If we could do that, this is a hearing on the amendments. If you could stick to the amendments. Well, I think the helpful. amendment, Mr. Chair, is predicated on, uh, on, on some observations regarding the calves of the children. So it's, it's I, I, you know. I, it's a stretch. Go to the amendment, please. Uh, well, I, I guess I would ask, is, is the, your, your amendment uh, related to your observations regarding the, the children's calves? If the gentleman is referring to a comment that I made more than a year ago, that comment was addressing drug smugglers. And so if the gentleman was observing the physical characteristics of drug smugglers, people that were carrying packs of marijuana across the desert, my comment was accurate. We'll reclaim this my is time. something that is not relevant, though, to that discussion, but I would point out that uh, Senator Durbin has no longer characterized Dreamers the way he did since I characterized well, drug we'll smugglers the way it's I did. Not, it's not in reference to the comments of a year ago. It's in reference to the comments of a day ago. On, on Chris Cuomo's uh, show on CNN. That was this morning. This morning. Mm -hmm. So it's in reference to those uh, with regard to the uh, accurate uh, was the word that you used with regard to that. I'm wondering if that relates to this amendment. I hadn't given it a thought as being relevant to this discussion. This is about the law, the rule of law, and how we deal with people who are 
who are uh, unlawfully entering the United States and the policy of this country that preserves the sovereignty of the United States of America and the rule of law. So does that mean you did not uh, have any observations on your recent trip with regard to that? It meant that conformity? whatever I may or may not have seen or thought is not relevant to the language here other than the knowledge base that it's contributed to. And no, I didn't deal directly with drug smugglers while I was down there. Okay. Thank you, and I yield back. Thank you.